What's up, y'all? Starting a new series today. Um, very, very. Uh, I'm gonna say dangerous, but it's very. Uh, only, only. I've only seen one person do this before, and that's me. So uh, we're gonna learn how to solo Gory of the Pandaria Hero. Now that's right. We're gonna be soloing current heroics. We're gonna start with Ukuk. Okay. The achievement here is rolling, rolling, or keep rolling, rolling. And you have to hit him with 10, 20 barrels. And so this is going to be one. I'm going to start and just hit him with the first one. Um, some notes here. Uh, if you... If he hits a barrel, it doesn't count. You have to actually hit him with the barrel. And my strategy here is what I'm going to do is as soon as he does a ground pound, I'm going to get on a barrel and run it into him and try and stack it up and just keep hitting him um, he will increasingly do more damage but I don't think that it will ever be enough to where it will kill you if you are a tank that was four okay and you have to get this all the way up to twenty um, I'm suspecting that towards the end I'm actually gonna have to worry about not killing him because he's gonna take so much extra damage oh, fuck come on come on come on alright I almost got hit by him there you see that that would have been a mistake as you can see he's not really doing that much damage to me if he ground pounds you while you're on a, a barrel you drop the barrel so that kinda sucks Um, I'm pretty sure you can do this as pretty much any tank class, or probably hunter or something like that. I'm not really sure how easy this would be to do as classes besides that, like non-tank specs classes. Like, I don't think you could really do this as like a mage or something. Oh, shit. As you can see, he's like really not doing that much damage to me. He will get this. Oh, let me hit with the barrel before I explain that. Come on. There we go. There we go. Ten. Ten so far. And he'll do this going bananas. That's basically his enrage and he'll get more than one stack of that actually over time. You want to make sure that your uh, your stacks don't fall. I don't think you have to kill him while he has ten stacks. You just have to. He just has to get ten stacks. But the odds are, is I mean, like, was it, it lasts like 30 seconds, so it does so much damage. You'll probably kill him with the stacks, like, on accident. That hit him. And that's 13. As you can see, things are still going pretty smoothly. The ground pound actually gives me a good chance to kind of keep my my health up. There we go. A little, a little distracted because this is kind of hard to do. Grabbing all these barrels, running around. Oh, we got two stacks. Two stacks. Sometimes he'll get more than one stack. Uh, sometimes he won't. Like, he spent most of this entire time only having one stack. I don't really know why. He'll get more than one. Okay, we're at 18. So as you can see, he's already at 50% health. Come uh, on, there we go. There we go. And um, barrels can hit him that you don't, uh, you're not riding on. And if that happens, the barrels just they don't count towards the achievement. And so I got 20 barrels on him right now. I'm going to get 21 or 22 just to be safe, just to show you uh, sometimes, because sometimes a barrel will hit him, and you'll think that you've gotten 20 on him, but you've actually only gotten 19. And so that last barrel didn't really count. Oh, We're going to get one more. One more just in case. As you can see, his health is still very, very low. 22 stacks. And we're just going to kill his bitch ass right now. And 
he has three stacks. <clears throat> As you can see, um, he's still not doing enough damage to really kill me. <clears throat> and he is dead with 22 stacks. So that's all it takes, and we're going to go to the next achievement now. Okay, we're here, and the next achievement really here is kind of annoying to do, and it's very hard to do unless you're able to kite and basically take no damage. And uh, see, I have my cloak on, and uh, the reason I moused over that and the stamina trinkets is you obviously want to have a lot of stamina, and you also are as much health as possible so you don't die, and you also um, don't want to use your DPS cloak because your DPS cloak will kill the hoplings. So the uh, the way this achievement works, by the way, I'm, uh, it took forever, so I'm not doing this live. Um, the way the achievement works is basically the boppers drop hammers, and if you click on the hammers, it gives you an extra action button. And the extra action button, if you click on it, will knock all the hoplings up in the air, not hoppers. There's three different kinds. It will knock all the hop. Well, first, I'll finish this. It will knock all the hoplings up in the air and kill them. Um, and you want to be able to knock a hundred hoplings up in the air. And so it's kind of annoying. And so my strategy here and how I'm going to handle this is I'm going to focus and just kill the boppers because the boppers actually do, I don't know, like they, they have like 5,000 or so and the hoplings uh, hit for like 500. And also um, it's just kind of something to do. And anyway, so the the only thing that can really kill you here is obviously if you're taking too many of them, uh, it gets pretty laggy too, which is kind of annoying, but you know, whatever. Um, they will explode. Is that, oh, sorry, the hop, the hoppers, the mobs hoppers, the, uh, the suicide bombers, they will explode. And what's kind of shitty about that is it'll stun you and it'll do 45,000 damage. So it's like if there's like 50 or like 75 of these hoplings up, uh, they're going to do a lot of damage to you. As you can see, I almost have like a million health. So, I mean, the probability of me dying is pretty much zero. Um, I did this on my Death Knight, who's a Blood Death Knight, and I think I did it on him at like 490 item level. It was a little bit harder, obviously, but I got it done. And so, uh, as any uh, geared tank, you're going to have no problem doing this. As a DPS, um, you might have a little bit harder um, time doing it. Uh, the only thing you want to make sure that you're always doing is killing the boppers because they're where most of your damage is coming from. I mean, if they're doing 5,000 and the rest of them are doing, let's say, 500, that means they're the equivalent of 10 of them. And so 10 boppers are going to do however much 100 hoplings are doing. I'd say like maybe 8 because, you know, some of them do like six, 700. Um, another thing is if you're a shield class, make sure you have all your gear and especially your shield. Um, repaired in case so it doesn't break in the middle of the fight. I think I do this here for another like nine minutes or not nine minutes, like four minutes. And so I'm not really going to explain the other two because there's like Ling Ting's herbal magical journey and how did he get up here? And those are two other achievements that are required for the meta, but they're not required in heroic and so they're very easy to do in normal mode and so I, I don't think I'm really going to waste everybody's time going over those. Um, if you guys want I can do a video about those and just show you how it goes down but as you can see my strategy here now that I have more of them is I'm charging to the boppers just to get a little bit of time away from the hoplings all hitting me and um, if you guys again if you have a shitty computer you're going to have trouble doing this. Um, one suggestion is to turn off nameplates. I almost never turn off nameplates, but there. Actually, it's kind of annoying sometimes. But that's pretty much all there is to it. I guess we'll just uh, we'll just fast forward a little bit, and we'll get to uh, whenever I kill them all. Okay, as you can see, um, my computer can barely handle it, so I'm going to go ahead and run up here in just a second and just kind of get just a few more just to be safe. And as you can see, my health is still pretty stable. Um, if you have kind of not so good gear, oh, here we go. I'm about to use the hammer as soon as they all get to me, and boom, knocked them all up in the air, and that was easily over 100.
I would say to sit here and do it for at least five minutes or so, and you'll uh, you'll be fine. If you ha if you, if you miss it, man, you just keep going. You know, it's not really that big of a deal. But the only thing that is kind of annoying is you can't really like AFK this, and you can just run out and reset it too. But anyway, that's really all there is to this achievement. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.